Hey, what's up guys? This is Zane from Inzane Comics and today I got another tutorial for you guys. Uh, I was working on this and I figured I might as well share this with you guys. There's this tool in Photoshop that's super helpful and I think a lot of people can benefit from this. So basically what this tool is, is you know how sometimes you um, work on certain files and there's something that you do repetitive, whether it's uh, you have all these PSD files and you want to change them all to JPEG or you want to, you have all the individual JPEG files and you want to turn them into CMYK. Like there's a specific action that's very repetitive and you want to do it basically in a batch. So today I'm going to show you how to do these batch actions. So I pulled up one of the images from one of my comic books uh, for chapter two, the elemental balance. And what I'm trying to do is this image right here is an RGB and I'm trying to make it CMYK for printing purposes. So it's really simple. Um, what you do is you come to the right hand side of Photoshop and you see this little play button. It's called actions. So click on that. And so I have different actions or whatnot, but I'm going to show you how to set this up. Before we set this up real quick, I want you to do something very simple in your folders. Find where, you know, all your JPEGs are. And I want you to create two folders. All right. And so I'm going to create one folder and called it my JPEGs. And I'm going to create a second folder. I'm going to call it CMYK. Okay, so now in this JPEG folder, I'm going to add all the JPEGs, which are right here. And I'm just going to dump it in there. All right, so I have that all in there. And you guys can see that. So moving on. And you'll see why that's important to have two separate uh, folders. All right, let me just close this real quick. And I'm going to open that file from that JPEG right there. Okay, perfect. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder like that. And we'll call it uh, for print. I'm going to put two because I already have one folder called for print, but let's just call it for print two, whatever. All right. So now that I have this folder, uh, I'm going to create a new action. So you click on that. Um, what we're going to call this action is converting to CMYK. All right. And it's going to be under the set for print two. So remember this and then converting to CMYK. All right. So now what I'm about to do is when I press record, the system is recording every action I take while it's being recorded. So here we go. So it's recording. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to image mode, CMYK. Okay. And that's it. Don't save it. All right. The reason why I told you not to save it is because uh, it just creates duplicate files. It's not a big deal. You can hit save and you just have to delete the extra files. But anyways, so I recorded the action and now let's go through the process of doing the batch. And you go to file, automate, and batch. Okay. Now, it says over here, what are we doing? Like, what is it? What are we playing? They see what are the actions we're doing? So it was for set for print two, remember? And if you have multiple actions, just make sure you it, it's the one that you want. So converting to CMYK. Um, keep all this other stuff the same. Okay, so then over here, remember the folders I was talking about? Source folder. Source folder is where is it getting all its files from? Um, and we're gonna go chapter two JPEG, right? So basically you just click on the folder. You're not trying to click on any of the images, just click on the folder so that we've selected it. And so you can see it right here that the folder has been selected. And then we need to type in what's the destination folder. So we go here and we look for that folder again. And so it's the CMYK folder. So basically what it's saying is it's gonna be doing these actions on that JPEG folder and putting it into the CMYK folder. And that's it. And then all you got to do is click OK and then watch the magic happen. Boom.
it's also very satisfying to watch this happen because if you're doing this on your own, oh my God, it takes forever. All right, so the action's done. Um, I'm gonna show it to you real quick here in the folder. So remember the CMYK folder is empty. Now all the files are here on the CMYK. And let's just for the sake of, uh, so we can see what's going on, uh, I'm going to open it in Photoshop to show you that it is CMYK. So you see that? This has now been converted to CMYK. So pretty simple. Hopefully this has benefited you guys. All right, thanks.